today i will discuss about faces of very high pressure i will cover this topic under the following heads first introduction second glaucophen lawsonite faces that is also known as blues's faces characteristic minerals physical condition of metamorphism fifth basic paragenesis sixth eclogite faces introduction mineral assemblages mode of occurrences and origin important reactions evidence for the formation of eclogites at very high pressure and lastly the conclusions now take up the first modules that is introduction on the basis of pressure and temperature we can divide the metamorphic phases into three types mainly phases of low pressure phases of intermediate pressure and phases of high pressure Mayashiro originally recognized three different phases series first a geolite prehenite pumpelite blue cyst eclogite type second a typical barovian type characterized by green cyst epidote amphibolite amphibolite gaolite characterized by paragenesis of kyanite selenite type and third an abukoma type of green cyst amphibolite gaolite characterized by paragenesis of andalusite selenite type the abukoma type is a name after the abukoma region in japan and and is similar to the buchen type of the dalindian the faces of very high pressure are listed below in order of increasing temperature and pressure of metamorphism first glaucophen lawsonite faces that is also known as blues's faces second eclogite faces now first i will take up the glaucophen lawsonite faces that is also known as blues's faces characteristic minerals the characteristic minerals are lawsonite jadeite glaucophen aragonite etc in peltic rocks stapler millene and phenzetic muscovite are present and biotite absent second albite is rare and its place is taken by the chemically equivalent pairs quartz and jadeite which are shown to be stable at even at low temperature and high load pressure third lawsonite is a characteristic in a state of clinogeosite epidote fourth the association of glaucophen and lawsonite is most diagnostic rather than any of the two minerals alone on the basis of acf and akf diagrams we can observe the following paragenesis the important basic assemblages first glaucophen lawsonite zeodite pyroxene pumpelite chlorite second aragonite amen rich garnet quartz sphene etc third phenzetic mica quartz chlorite lawsonite zeodite albite it is extremely deep seated sediments therefore the calcareous minerals are not present deep up to 30 to 35 km physical condition of metamorphism lower temperature limit may be defined by the reaction hollandite give rise to lawsonite plus quartz which suggest temperature about 200 degree centigrade carried out by nice 1968 higher temperature limit of the faces 
is indicated by the reaction lawsonite plus 2 quartz bivalent reaction give rise to geosite epidote plus pyrophyllite plus 6 H2O at 400 degree centigrade 6 kilobar 427 degree centigrade 7 kilobar Crawford et al 1965. Thus the disappearance of lawsonite and appearance of epidote minerals mark the beginning of glaucophin green cisphasis higher pressure equivalent of green cisphasis pressure condition is indicated by the following reaction reaction number one albite change into jadeite plus quartz that is NaAlSi3O8 give rise to NaAlSi2O6 plus SiO2 second important reaction calcite give rise to aragonite at 300 degree centigrade 7 kilobar, 400 degree centigrade 9 kilobar, Crawford in 1972. Another reaction chlorite plus albite give rise to glaucophin plus water at 350 degree centigrade 7 kilobar by Rover 1972. Thus it is concluded that the glaucophin lawsonite faces of rocks are formed at 200 to 400 degree centigrade at pressure of more than 7 to 8 kilobar. Now take up the next phases that is your eclogite phases. Introduction. Most eclogites are striking in appearance with coarse reddish brown garnet propheroblast set in a fine to medium grained matrix of green omphacite, zedite and diapsite. Chemically the eclogites correspond to basalts or gabbroic rocks. The critical association is omphacite pyroxene plus garnet. Omphacite is a pyroxene containing greater amount of Na2O and Al2O3 and negligible amount of TiO2 as correspond to the pyroxene of igneous rocks. Garnet is lime bearing almondine pyrope with 25 to 70 percent pyrope and 12 to 40 percent grassolarite. Beside these some eclogites contain kyanite, anisotite, rotile, ilmenite, etc. Feldspar is absent. Mineral assemblages. On the basis of common as assemblages, we can observe three types of eclogites. Group A eclogites contain umphacite and garnet. Group P contain umphacite, garnet, kyanite and group C contain omphacite, garnet, anesthetite. If you will see the triangular ACF diagram on a screen, we can observe all the three category that is group A, B and C on the basis of different tie lines that is omphacite, garnet, omphacite, garnet, kyanite and omphacite garnet anesthetite. Group P eclogites beside the assemblies of group A, these may be contain primary hornblende and geosite that is epidote. The hornblende is sodium alumina rich variety known as borocytes. The formula is NaCa Mg Fe thrice Al2 Si7 Al O22 OS twice. Group C eclogites beside the assemblies of group A these contain primary glaucophin and epidote. Now the next module is mode of occurrences and origin. 
The eclogites are usually encountered as bands or lenses in crystalline complexes belonging to the gamolites or amphibolites or the glaucophen bearing cyst. In some localities, they appear to have been tectonically skewed into the country rocks. A pair from these, the eclogite also occur as inclusion in kimberlite and basalt or as a layers in ultramafic rocks like dunite and pedotite eclogites thus occur in a wide range of environments. Eclogite zones as such cannot be mapped in metamorphic terrains. As mentioned already, the eclogites are rocks of gabroic or basaltic composition. In spite of the basaltic composition, plagioclase occur in eclogites. Ascola attributed the origin of eclogite to very high pressure, which is now proved by modern experimental work. The transformation of gabbro to eclogites may be shown by the reaction dis disregarding a few components. Reaction labradorite plus diapsite plus olvin gave rise to umphacite plus garnet plus SiO2. The labradorite, the usually we consider the composition that is NaAlSi3O8 plus CaAl2Si2O8 plus diapside 6 CaMgSi2O6 plus olvin mg 2 siO 4 give rise to umphacite and umphacite is a complex compound that is diapside plus zedite that is CaMgSi2O6 plus NaAlSi2O6 plus garnet CaMg2Al2Si3O12 and plus SiO2. The overall reaction is labradorite plus diapside plus olvin give rise to omphacite plus garnet plus SiO2. The evidence of formation of eclogites at very high pressure are shown by first their high specific gravity above 3.59 centimeter cube as compared to about 3.09 per centimeter cube of gabbro. Second, the presence of kyanite and zedite pyroxenes which are usually present at very high pressure. Third, absence of plagioclase. Fourth, occurrences, oblique appearance of diamond in group A eclogites. The detailed work of Ringwood and Green 1966 67, 72 demonstrated that temperature nearly 1200 to 1000 degrees centigrade respectively to transfer a quartz bearing basalt to eclogites. Extrapolation of this curve to 600 degrees centigrade or below suggest pressure of 10 kilobar or less. Some eclogites therefore originated under very high pressure and temperature underneath the earth crust and are incorporated as inclusion in kimberlite, basalt and ultramafic rocks other may originate within the lower part of the crust that is those associated with amphibolites, green cyst and glaucophin bearing cyst. In the later association, the eclogites are products of water free environments while amphibolite, green cyst, etc. are formed in water bearing condition. Thus, it is evident that eclogite can be formed from basic igneous rocks under a very wide temperature range when the pressure surface a minimum value around 8 to 10 kilobar at a moderate temperature. 
It is important to note that H2O must be absent if Hornblende free eclogite is to be originated and only a slight amount of water may be present during the formation of amphiboles bearing eclogites belonging to the group B and C. Otherwise, eclogite will be completely transferred to amphiboles bearing rocks. This accounts for relative scarcity of eclogites compared to other metamorphic rocks of basaltic composition. Eclogites are mainly occur as a lances or a squeeze body because they are very prone to alteration. Normally, they react with water and change into green cyst or amphibolite phases. That is why in nature, we cannot observe eclogite or we cannot observe very frequently as a mappable body of eclogites. Use eclogites is also associated with kimberlite. Usually, it is a part of igneous as well as metamorphic because eclogites contain also the kyanite, the kyanite, omphacite, parup bearing eclogites that is also a type A eclogite which is formed at very high pressure and temperature without any OH bearing minerals. These are usually associated with kimberlite because they intruded forcefully at the surface without any change. They also carry the diamond, micro diamonds, especially the pyrope is a variety also present within pyrope. We can see the micro diamonds as compared to others. Now, the new terms is applicable that is ultra high pressure metamorphism and ultra high temperature metamorphism. The ultra high pressure metamorphism where we can observe the diamonds and usually they are also associated with ultramafic igneous rocks or with eclogites. Mainly we can see how the association usually occur on the basis of that we can see if we will see the mineralogical part then usually the umphacite which is a complex mixture of your diapsite plus jadeite is a clinopyroxene variety and umphacite is an important mineral basically for eclogites on the basis of umphacite, garnet if present and plagioclase is absent, we can easily recognize in field that is eclogites. If suppose you will see the Indian examples, the Ladakh ophiolite is very important. Even in Rajasthan also, we can see the Fulad ophiolites belt where we can see the ultramafic igneous rocks. And in Orisha also, we can observe the different ultramafic rocks. And if suppose we will see the Andhra Pradesh area, that is Vajkarur area, where we can see the kimberlites. And with these kimberlites, we can observe the eclogites. Conclusion, in this modules, we have discussed about the blue cyst phases, that is glaucophin lawsonite phases and eclogite phases in detail. We have covered the characteristic minerals 
physical condition of metamorphism and mineral paragenesis with the help of ACF and AKF diagram especially for blue cyst phases and for eclogite phases we have covered the characteristic minerals different type of eclogites origin and mode of occurrences of eclogites and the experimental support for the formation of eclogites especially how the quartz basalt change into eclogites at a specific pressure and temperature condition the experimental work carried out by green and ringwood on the basis of these studies we can say that they belong to very high pressure as classified by mayashiro phase series now the new terms that is ultra high pressure ultra high temperature metamorphism is introduced within one decade and where we can observe how the high pressure ultra high pressure metamorphism and ultra high temperature metamorphism occur and especially the eclogites comes under ultra high pressure metamorphism